Hi, can you tell us your name, please? My name is Jack Lardis. Nice, and you are an artist here being featured. I'm one of the art, one of the Jacks who are both artists, and uh, I'm, I'm in a really a wonderful gallery. Uh, we, uh, uh, I'm a transplant from Connecticut, so um, I've only been here two years, and uh, so I'm just finding my way around the art community. And this is a fantastic gallery. Awesome. And, and Natalie and Jack are really great. I mean, John. <laughs> Um, can you tell us about why you uh, decided to become an artist and how that happened? Well, I, um, my family is very artistic, mm -hmm. and um, I was the youngest of the group, and I was exposed to it uh, all the time, and it was a natural development for me. Nice. What, sorry. Go ahead. What is your favorite thing about being an artist? Uh, I think it's the process, mm -hmm. uh, the getting lost in the art as, as I um, explore my art, uh, you know, by intuition and then, and then I intellectualize it and then I'm back to just, and, and if you look at my art, it's a, a sort of an unbridled color. Right. And um, I'm not I'm not a realist. Uh, I'm more of an expressionist. Okay. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, it makes you like feel something when you look at it. Yes, and I, and I, I like the art to have something about it that the viewer puzzles about uh, or thinks about it, right. and that, that establishes a dialogue between the two. And, and that's what makes art, you know? Definitely. The artwork, the artist, and the viewer. Yes. And the three of them make art. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, can you tell us about what kind of media that you prefer to use? I, I use oil sticks. Okay. Okay, they're like large crayons, but uh, they'll be like, um, they'll be about almost two inches in diameter. Okay. And uh, I like them because they're immediate, because I can draw and paint at the same time, okay. and uh, because they're, based in, they're primarily wax, uh, they dry quickly, mm -hmm. so it's not like oil paint where you have to wave, you know, yeah. and, and uh, so a lot of my art is done very quickly. That's good. And uh, I, try my, I try to be uh, as uh, intuitive mm -hmm. as I can. Yeah, because you don't have to wait for it to dry or make sure that the brush is dry, so you can do it quickly. That's good. Um, is there anything else that you would like to share about you or your art or your journey? Uh, yes, I'm, uh, I'm retired and I'm trying to find homes for my art. And Natalie has given me an opportunity to do that. Yes. So I have a website and uh, uh, people are welcome to take a view. What's the website called? My last name, Lardis, L-A-R-D-I-S, dash, art.com. Awesome. Lardis, dash, art.com. Now what you don't see in this show is my other major work, which are large portraits. Okay. And they're three by four feet, and it's only of the face. Okay. And uh, they're primarily the famous people I've come to know in my lifetime. Uh, I went to school with James Earl Jones. Did you? Wow. And I uh, did a great portrait of him. Uh, Willie Nelson was a client of mine. Wow, and that's I, awesome. I had an advertising agency in Connecticut. Okay. And uh, uh, his, his portrait is in the... Willie Nelson and Family Museum in Tennessee. That's amazing. Um, I, I had a, a correspondence relationship with, with Colin Powell, who uh, I respected highly for his, uh, his non-politics, where he was noted for uh, preferring to have a dialogue instead of a, a war. That's good. Um, and. Um, and there were many others. Uh, Andy Pettit, the basketball uh, baseball player. Yeah. And uh, let's see, uh, Barbara Shear. You probably wouldn't know her, but 
she's rather famous. She's uh, been on television a lot. Okay. And she's a, uh, uh, she helps women uh, uh, develop their, uh, their love of okay. the things they want to do. That's awesome. Anyway, so um, you want to have to go to the website. Yes. And uh, I donated 16 paintings to the Manchester uh, uh, Community College in Connecticut before I left. Oh, that's amazing. And uh, uh, so that's been the beginning of my finding homes for my art. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you've had a great life and career, and uh, thank you for this opportunity to interview you. Well, thank you for uh, your, your questions, and uh, uh, do try to believe in yourself in your art, okay? Thank you. Okay, that's important. Yes, thank you so much. Okay. That's it. Awesome.